actually I came here to Bangalore to study. I finished my diploma in Mysore. After writing my exam, I asked my father I wanted to study uh, engineering. He said, uh, I mean, we are from a poor family uh, near Mysore. It's 22 kilometers from Mysore. Oh, he said, I can't afford, uh, but you can go wherever you want to go. You do whatever you want to do. Uh, I, can, I can't afford, he said. Then uh, after writing exam, I came to Bangalore. Some friend of mine was working here in uh, in a second stage. I joined him. Then uh, I got a job uh, in Eswantpur. Mm, night shift I got. After two months, I got a result. Uh, then I joined uh, engineering. I was going to a night college, like a one day college and night shift I used to work. Actually, I got a seventh rank in diploma, but a year in engineering, I, and I was not getting good marks. Uh, then in the meantime, uh, my friend said, I am also going to the village. He said, then uh, I didn't have space to stay in Bangalore. I was searching for a place. I came to Majestic. There, uh, one uh, Adi Chunchanigari hostel is there. Uh, I request actually one uh, good hostel is there in uh, Vijayanagar. I went to the Swamiji and asked him, uh, I don't have space to stay, I am studying in engineering and uh, that's it. But he was not allowed me to stay in uh, Vijayanagar hostel. Uh, then he suggested me to go to Majestic hostel. Mm, that, is the, that is the turning point I can say. I came to Majestic Hostel, there there is no uh, facility except to stay. Uh, everything we used to do, I mean, everything we have to do outside. There outside, a lot of people were selling books. Uh, <laughs> like a footpath, uh, people were selling books. Uh, in, in, those are all actually coincidence, I think. I was not getting good marks. Then, uh, stay, place is there to stay. I left the college, I left the uh, this thing also, work which uh, I was going. I started working, I mean, I started uh, helping these guys who are selling on the football. Uh, there, uh, I learned from there, actually, in 1996. Uh, then after 3-4 months, I learned uh, whatever uh, books are selling, where the books are coming, uh, where, where to source and all. Then I requested one of my, there uh, I was working, no? I requested him, I mean, I want to take these books and sell it somewhere else. I don't want to sell it here, I, do, I want to take it and sell it somewhere else. Then I took two bags of books and came to Mayal. That, that I don't know actually much about Bangalore also. Uh, I got a bus from Majestic and uh, Majestic I get down, I mean Mayal I get down and started selling on the payment of uh, Mayal. I don't know what is MG Road, what is Brigade Road, I don't know anything. After three, four days, I mean I started to uh, roam around. Then I realized one board I saw, that bang, Brigade Road board, then MG Road. Uh, two bags were there in my hand. In that time, uh, Iggin Bathams was there. Their uh, main entrance was closed. I think they were doing some uh, repair work. I started selling books there. Uh, I did for three, four months. Uh, then uh, my engineering studying uh, of engineering didn't go. Then uh, I rejoined uh, engineering. After uh, from first semester, I rejoined and I got one person from my village uh, to take care of the store, uh, the footpath store that too. Then I continued uh, like that, studying engineering. After finishing my engineering, I got a job uh, in uh, GE. Uh, at that job, I just went for 15 days. That uh, I didn't get uh, any interest in that work. So what to do after uh, this thing, I, I was thinking. Uh, then I thought of opening a store, like a small store. Then I found a space in Brigade Garden. In 2002, we started as a Blossom Bookstore. That's the first store we started. My name is Neera. I'm working for 5 years in Blossom. I feel good to work here. I like to live here. I feel good to live here. I feel good to live here. I feel good to live here. This is the first edition of Freedom at Midnight. Uh, limited edition. They have printed only 1380 copies out of this 1296. And this is one of the rare books. Covid and Young. They have printed only 974 copies. Mm -hmm. This is
funnily enough um i lived in bangalore only for 3 years but i never really discovered blossoms until i left the city um so this city in itself is very close to my heart and i have a lot of friends and family here so i make it a point to visit very often and i remember uh, during one of those visits um i met up with a friend and he uh, told me to uh, come here and um, i guess yeah the moment i entered the store i didn't want to leave the place uh at least not without a book in hand um so it's it can feel very overwhelming but you're <laughs> surrounded by so many books but at the same time um you realize uh how little you know about the world and uh, this is one of those bookstores uh, or places that kind of uh, takes you into a zone where you feel like you really want to um you know gain more knowledge on literally anything every time i i do come here i don't think i i am um, i spend less than an hour i've come a lot of times before but not very often we'll come once in a month i buy books like diary of a wimpy kid and other books which i find interesting so uh i've been here since uh 2016 so i think i've been coming here almost uh every alternate sunday so uh i have a good attachment to the store because you know the smell of books first of all and then uh yeah they've opened like the new one so but then something about like old books and old memories like it just brings back a lot of uh feeling of i don't know you get like nostalgic and i specifically try to hunt for like uh second hand books so there were times when i got like cute cute messages on the books so yeah i think like the store has like a lot of history and a lot of memories to it once uh, one of our uh, like a customer only she got to I mean uh, her uh, children maybe um, she was telling that day her uh, birthday and then uh, that uh, mother asked that uh, child where today is your birthday where do you want to go that uh, mother asked that child uh, that uh, child said uh, i want to go to blossoms to celebrate her birthday I mean that affects uh, that uh, when she came and told me that i was in tears <laughs> 